Hello Brawlers, it's me Berthen and I am here to show you the best keyboard settings and I will also explain why it is the best keyboard settings as well. This is the default keyboard settings that I use. Keyboard B, I can I use the my left hand on the left side of the keyboard for movement controls. And on the right side I use HJKL for throw, quick, heavy and dodge. Three changes. The first change is I unbind pick up with light attack. I change W from jump aim up to just aim up. And this is like the same but the space is for keyboard A. It's supposed to be but I'm gonna use space for keyboard B as well. So that's kind of like a change. And for throw instead of H I will put it on I. Now this is pretty much my current keyboard settings that I use and uh, you guys probably don't know why so I'll show you guys I'm gonna reset all of it now the first change I'll show you guys is W I only want W on aim up and the reason why is that if it's not if it's on jump plus aim up it's a bit restricting as in if you want to do neutral air you have to stop moving and press light attack you can't but the thing with that is that neutral air can move left and right so you can move and neutral air before you stop and then go if you uh, have it on a separate key but on this key what happens when you do it is that you're gonna jump up and you're gonna do a neutral air but you can't move left if you move left then you just do a side air uh, to fix that you can actually just turn on Prioritize neutral over side air, click apply, and then that will make it so that when you press, when you hold up and left at the same time and you press light attack, you will actually do a neutral air because that's what aim up does. But there's still a problem because you have to jump to do a neutral air. What if you don't want to jump? You know, uh, you can't really control it if you have W and as aim up and jump at the same time. So to fix this problem, I just make it so that aim up is on W. And for this con control, you're not supposed to use space for jump, but I do it. Uh, so instead of jumping with W, I jump with space and I just only aim up with W now. And what happens is I can hold W so I'm holding W right now and then press light attack and I'm moving left and right as you can see I'm not stopping at all and I can still just do neutral air and I can just do neutral light just by holding left and letting go of up so I can do pretty much anything and if I want to jump and neutral at the same time I can just press space and then do neutral air so this gives a lot more options uh, to work with and so that's why I do that. Okay, now let's talk about pickup with light attack. Uh, pickup with light attack does a couple of things. So it hinders your ability to do throw combos. So if you throw and then you try to do a side light, you pick up your weapon and then you side light. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't because it slows you down. So what what I actually want to do is throw into undarmed neutral light or maybe a side light but instead I actually pick up my weapon do side light and sometimes that just goes too far on some weapons like the hammer here and you know I just want to like toss it at him so I'm tossing it away because if I toss at him the problem will happen but I want to toss it at him and then I do like an side light like that because it's really quick unarmed is a lot quicker and it's like a true combo sometimes but I can't do that because I have light attack for pickup on default and I pick up my weapon and then I do a side light that slows it down because side hammer on side light it's a lot slower and another problem is that it kind of gets you used to just light attack for pickup and that can often harm you because if the enemy stands over the weapon here I'm gonna call a weapon on him and if the enemy stands over it and you get close you can see I can see the J for pickup on this guy so I can use it but 
when the weapon's behind him. I can't do that. So I can't pick it up real quick with light attack and just dodge away or anything. It's it's more about control than anything. If you use light attack, you can't pick it up while he's on it. But if you use throw, you can. You can control whether you throw or not. Uh, it's light attack to hit and then throw to, to pick up. So you should... You should pretty much draw a line that you shouldn't pick up ever with a light attack. And now you can do stuff like this. You can throw into neutral light. Look at that. The weapon's right behind me, but I did not pick it up. So that's pretty cool. You can do stuff like this. That's super fast. He probably didn't have time to dodge that even. Now, let's talk about why I have throw on I instead of H. So, when uh, when you pick up with H, you you have to use your index finger, or at least I do. Uh, most people probably do. I don't know what else you would do it with. But I use my index finger, and my index finger is also on J, the, the way I position it. Because I don't like to use my pinky. If you like to use your pinky, then I guess that's fine. You can have um, your your index on throw and your middle finger on J but I don't really like to use my right hand pinky so I have J my index on J I have my middle finger on K and I have my dodge on L so I can do all of those at any time except for uh, with like a dedicated finger unless I have it on H now if I have it on H I would have to for throws I would have to share a button so I like to share it with I, so I can do stuff like this real quick. Um, this is because I throw with my middle finger and then I press the light attack with my index finger. But if I had it on H, then I, it would be a, a bit slower. I will demonstrate. I'll put it back on H, and I'm going to throw and then light attack. So. Uh, it's not that noticeable. You can you can train and it will be pretty much the same. It's like whatever, but it's a bit more difficult for me anyway. Since I pre since I do this combo pretty often, it's if I throw I always go into undarmed because it's good to follow up your throws and with undarmed. If you follow up with heavy attack, it usually doesn't work because uh, heavy attacks will take way too long. So yeah, it's pretty much just a convenience thing. Um, put on I, and my throw combos will be a lot easier. And there's also the argument that having the throw attack on above uh, the heavy attack makes it so that you share heavy and throw. But I don't see that as a big problem at all, because heavies take a long time. So after you press heavy with your middle finger, you can move it up to I and you still have plenty of time. And you never want to actually do like a throw into a uh, heavy attack because it's generally pretty slow. Uh, heavy attacks are meant to be slower unless you do like a uh, throw up into jump recovery. But then you would have to jump so you have to press another button first in the first place. And then. You do it, so you still have plenty of time. That is it, guys. Those are the only changes. It's not a lot. I like to keep it simple, but uh, I know all, not all of you use uh, keyboard B, of course. Probably only some of you use keyboard B. So I'll apply this to uh, the other con control setups as well. So if you use keyboard A, um, you can put jump plus aim up. You can turn that off, and you can put up as aim up only and use space for jump that's the equivalent of my controls and uh, instead of V for throw you can put V for on S and that will make it so that you share the throw and heavy attack button which I recommend or at least it fits my style it might not fit yours and uh, in any kind of control you always don't want to pick up with light attack so always turn this off now for mouse mouse is pretty much good the way it is I actually started 
uh, when I started the game, I played like 200 hours and got diamond with the default mouse settings. I find them to be pretty much perfect, so I wouldn't really change anything on the uh, keyboard plus mouse, except for you uncheck this. And on controllers, I only have heard about it, but um, it's a good idea to have the same thing here. Um, like analog up, you know, separate analog up or d-pad up and have it only on aim up and put jump in like X or something and put light attack right next to it. That way it's a lot easier for combos. And that is pretty much it guys. That is the best keyboard settings uh, for me, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you guys out. If it did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one.